do a real quick update and then I'll move on. So I don't want y'all to get lost. Some of the stuff I kind of have to film and, uh, I mean, skip filming just to get some work done. So I've got this wall framed. Over here we've got the door into the um, closet for the bedroom that'll also have an access panel for the plumbing for the bathtub which will go along that wall. Then on right on the other side of this wall between that doorway and this doorway there's going to be another closet that you access from the bathroom. So it's going to be sort of a bathroom uh, closet, uh, linen closet, that type of a thing. Then you're going to have the doorway into the bathroom from this bedroom and then if we go around to the front bedroom I cut this doorway in here into this bedroom but then tore that wall down and then relocated it here basically so when you walk in here I'll probably put some bifold doors in this closet that I put right in here so this doorway will swing up against the doors of that closet. Uh, I've got to fill in some stuff so you can see over here that's down into the kitchen. This needs to be brought up three quarters of an inch and then underneath this plywood we've got issues with the floor so there's two layers of floors. There's three quarter inch um, tongue and groove running diagonal and then running uh, widthwise on the house. So we've got an uh, inch and a half of flooring already. So I'm going to patch everything I need with this three quarter. Then the rest of the upstairs of the house has three eighths inch plywood just screwed down and then they painted it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue that three eighths over top this just to get everything to the same level. And then in this bathroom it's going to end up getting the vinyl plank flooring. In the rest of the house I'm probably just going to go with carpet for now um, upstairs because it's quick and easy and cheap and I can go ahead and get this thing running. Then in the future, in between tenants sometimes, if I choose, I may do vinyl plank flooring throughout the rest of the house. So I'm going to start getting everything patched in. We live in a very noisy world. <laughs>
when you're doing a renovation, a lot of times, you know, using plywood, this brand new bathtub, I guess any bathtub, old net square too, but uh, sheets of drywall, everything is nice and square and basically it's meant for building a new house. So when you're doing a renovation, a lot of times, things aren't square, things aren't going to match up. It's uh, not this spaced off standard eight foot increments of lumber. There's all kinds of things that pop up along the way. I'm gonna show you an example now of one of those. This whole place, this back of this house is built out of reclaimed wood to start with. It's got nail holes going through the side. Some of it's burned looking. You can see all the paint. This is probably some other house that got torn down. Somebody then built this back side of the house with that lumber. If I take this bathtub and I shove it against the wall, you can see how out of square it is to this plywood which is squared up to the wall behind me. From here to here is eight and a half inches. From here to here is ten and a half inches uh, or ten inches. So by the time you get all the way over here it's three, uh, three and a half, four inches out of square. So what I'm going to do is square the tub up to the wall behind me and then I'm going to pull it out three and a half inches and I'm going to frame a wall right here. Then once that wall is framed, I can then get that wall, I can tap it around before I nail it in, and then this tub will mount to that wall. It'll be basically three and a half inches of dead space, lost space here in the, house, um, the bathroom, but the bathroom's huge. Um, I'm also gonna have a closet here too, so you won't be able to tell that all of a sudden the angle is an angle of the wall change. Uh, in this closet, there'll be access to the plumbing, um, one issue I found is that is one of the floor joists, so that's coming right where my drain needs to go through the floor. So that's a bit of a problem. I wanted to have this pulled out uh, three and a half inches, and I was going to frame a little uh, section of wall here. To where if you ever have to remove the uh, bathtub, it can pull it right out and then insert a new one and not have to uh, you know, get into knocking the framing loose to do so. So now you can see the bathtub is basically nice and squared up so um, it just will look right because say you tiled the floor in here and you've got your tile is then a grid so that's a perfectly straight reference points um, reference line so if your tub is askew it is going to be super obvious and it's just going to make things more difficult so extra step one of those things that happen in renovations um, you know when you're building new stuff even then you have to kind of adjust your plan as you go but renovations, it is tough to have expectations. People ask me all the time, how long do you think this renovation is going to take? Or what's your uh, timeline? I wasn't expecting to have to build this wall. Um, so stuff like that constantly pops up. Um, I also get asked all the time, why do you renovate houses? Why, with all the time you're spending, why don't you uh, just buy another one? A lot of the times, the places that I'm um, buying, I'm buying them so cheap. I'm buying the entire house for less than it would cost to establish uh, new connections to the water and sewer if I was to buy an empty lot and then build the house and then have those connections done by a city. Um, if I bought a house like this to tear it down, it would already have those connections, but then I would have the cost of tearing it down. So um, I think renovating houses for a person like myself is much better. It's almost like it's a, a, you're financing it or, or you got a layaway going on while you're doing it bought this house for $8,500 and then I uh, just fix it up as I can. If I was building a house, I would not be doing every step. I would have to have somebody come in and dig a foundation, put all that in, and then boom, you've just spent fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, however much it would cost to have that done all at once. I'm not going to use a shovel and then lay all those blocks or pour the concrete myself. So renovating is something I can wrap my head around, I can wrap my finances around, I can wrap my skills around. Um, so that was just a real quick little kind of uh, explanation of things that pop up in renovations. Uh, let me know if you like stuff like that. I think the fastest, most YouTube-friendly thing to do would just to be able to film this stuff and not talk much about it. But I like the idea of kind of um, every once in a while when something like that happens that is sort of more interesting to touch on it because that's the kind of thing that some people may get buffaloed about. They might just think, I've got to shove that thing into the corner and not just think, I could just quickly frame a wall and then or they may shove it in that corner and then they end up with that problem later not thinking about it that's one nice thing you know when you got a plywood floor you got nice square edges and you're like that's not straight um 
but let me know if you like me to uh, every once in a while kind of uh, bring up certain things like this and point out kind of my thinking behind them. Otherwise, it's just going to be one renovation after another and eventually I think it would get kind of monotonous. But you're always going to end up with a lot of different uh, scenarios like this that will vary from one renovation to the next. I've got all the walls framed, let's go in and have a look. And I've got a new wider angle lens coming tomorrow. It's gonna help out with these videos a lot. Working inside a house with this lens is a little tricky sometimes. Hard to get the shots, hard to show everything at once without moving the camera around. I got a 10 to 18 millimeter lens coming. So that 10 millimeters will be ultra wide. I'd be able to stand right here and you'd see everything, but it won't distort the actual shot too much. Here it is. So you walk in distance wise from right here to right here is probably six and a half feet, I think. Um, door to the right. This will be the door into the little linen area. We've got the bathtub here, but the bathtub will be tucked in over there. The vanity will only come to here, so you're going to have plenty of room. It won't seem cramped walking through here. The toilet right there. This little space created here makes the line of sight, I think, better through here. Plus, if somebody wanted to, they could add a shelf or a clothes hamper right there. Um, let's see if we can't get a different angle. Pan across the floor for you. Let me just show you from here. So this is going to be the floor space. So it really is uh, a good sized bathroom. Um, um, you know that space right there is sort of dead space I guess you could say but of course that is the access to the uh, linen closet right here someone could put the hamper like I said right here would be a good place for a full-size mirror somebody could stand right here see how good they're looking um, and then of course on this wall gonna have the vanity and then a, a good size mirror can be put on the wall there really happy with the way this turned out. It was a big decision to kind of go this big with the bathroom and where to put all this stuff and I'm sure it can be better and when y'all are watching these videos kind of you're looking at it sort of in hindsight. Um, I'm here having to make a decision and keep on moving so I'm sure there could be a better layout but I'm pleased with the way this is turning out so far. Thank you all for watching and before you run off into the internet looking at kitten and baby videos I've got a channel to suggest it is 1806 Stonehouse it is a very cool renovation being done by a fellow family man fixing up an old house doing a heck of a lot better of a job than I'm doing so if y'all enjoy these types of videos head on over to his channel link will be in the description below he just put out a video recently and it is very good Thanks for watching my video. Of course, check the links below to my ebook and my new channel where I talk about financial matters. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.